Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am back. <laughs> so, hi everyone. I'm Vinny, and this is Vinny Adventures, and I have not posted on this channel for four years. Or almost four years, actually. I mean, if I'm being fair with myself, my last video was posted in March of 2018, and we are now in January of 2022. So it has been a long, long time, and I'm just going to go full disclaimer right now. This is the second time that I have recorded this video, not because anything was technically wrong with the first time I recorded it, but because it was literally 52 minutes long, okay? I'm a rambler, so this is my attempt to hopefully deliver a similar amount of information in a much, much shorter time. So if it feels like I'm being sort of like disingenuous here, just like imagine me being like a little more teary eyed and a little more like, I don't know. I, I feel bad not using the original video, but nobody wants to sit through a 52 minute vlog. Even if I made cuts, that would still be like a 35 minute vlog. So basically four years ago, um, I was finishing up my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play on the channel, and I had gone literally two months without giving myself a single day off, and I got sick. I, I think my immune system was just like, nope, you're not giving yourself any relaxation or resting time, you're not sleeping enough, you're spending way too much time awake to edit videos all day, and you're not giving yourself a break, so you're gonna get sick now. And I did, I got the flu, and I think it was the first time I had really ever gotten the flu in my life, and it might even, to this day now that I think about it, be the only time that I ever got the flu. And I was very sick for like three weeks, but unfortunately, because I kind of struggle with um, anxiety and depression, if I sort of stumble, sometimes if I fall on my face completely, it can be almost like in my mind anyway, nigh impossible to pull myself back up. So basically, I just, you know, I stopped posting because I was sick, and then time went on, and time went on, and as time went on more and more, it became, it was almost like I was becoming, I was feeling more and more guilty that I hadn't posted, and so I was like, well, I could post, but it's been a month, and that's a really long time, and like, what are people gonna think? What are they gonna say to me? And then I, you know, two months passes and I'm like, oh, well, you know, this is twice as hard as it was last month. So, uh, you know, I'm just not going to do it. And then eventually, like, I just tricked myself into not coming back. And it wasn't that I didn't like YouTubing. It was that I just was afraid of, like, I don't know, disappointing people, making people angry. I Like, I don't even, honestly, this this is the thing about anxiety and depression is they don't, when you really um, observe them from like a, you know, outside yourself, you can see how nonsensical it is, you know, which is part of the reason why people get so frustrated with depressed people. It's like, well, why can't you just be happy? And it's like, well, it's not that simple when you, when you have anxiety and depression, though, that veil that you put over your eyes is just so thick sometimes. And if you're not properly treating your anxiety and depression, which I was not at the time, but I am now, it, you know, it, I just didn't, I, I didn't have the, I didn't, I wasn't equipped with the tools that I needed to be able to pull myself out of that hole. And so instead of getting out of the hole, I filled the top of the hole up and then started digging tunnels and then created a little tunnel society of houses underneath the earth. That's what I did. I did not <laughs> come out from underneath the ground. I just worked my way around it and went, this is fine. Um... And no longer. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm I'm coming back because the other day, um, my friend on Facebook, you know, she asked me, well, if you're because I told her I was um I was replaying Breath of the Wild on Master Mode and that I was attempting to get all nine hundred Korok seeds and that I was about like 300 out of 900 and she was like oh my god can you like stream that i really want to watch it and she's one of the people that constantly watches and comments on my old streams and stuff especially the breath of the well i, I mean the breath of the wild was the only stuff i streamed but um she's watched that series like twice through she says and i'm like wow like if anyone's willing to put up with me for that long then they must actually like me so i was like you know even if just one person is saying that they would tune into my stream 
that's enough. Like, that's all I need. That's all I ever needed to get motivation to get up each day and make videos for you guys it was just knowing that one of you was watching you know one person to to even one person it meant that they had something to do that night that got their mind off of things or you know whatever um so i was like look i'll level with you i haven't done this in almost four years now so I, it's not as easy as just saying oh yeah i'll come back um it's a lot more difficult than that but but I will try. <laughs> it's like, I will look into getting some new equipment and I will try and we'll see. And now here I am today to tell you that I have new equipment. I have a brand new, beautiful, expensive microphone and a new XLR system to run said microphone through. And what else did I get? Oh, new headphones, new beautiful headphones. Like I have all this new stuff. I have redone many of the channel's art features including the 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 actual channel pages art and also i reanimated the intro sequence which you guys will see um hopefully shortly um so basically at this point i i think i think i have taught myself enough of adobe premiere pro which has been very difficult to learn by the way because i used to use video studio um I think I've taught myself enough of it that I should be able to get by with some editing. And I mean like very light editing, like like I'm gonna just be like cutting clips and stuff and that's about the extent that I'll be able to do. I can do some crossfades and things and, and that's about it. But like some of the fancy stuff that I used to be able to do, it may not happen for a while. So the quality of like the features of my videos, if that's what you want to call them, it may not be quite up to snub, but hopefully the quality of the video itself and the sound will be a lot better. That's my hope. Anyway, I have everything I think ready to go. I, I'm scared. Honestly, this is, you know, one of the things that I talked about in the other recording of this was that it, it took a lot of like bravery for me to come back. Like it's, it's scary not doing something for so long and then all of a sudden trying to just like jump right back into the deep end and that sort of feels what like what i'm doing <laughs> but you know i i need to it basically i feel like i was the best version of myself when i was doing this youtube channel and when i was streaming on twitch i feel like that version of me was happier that version of me was more lively, more energetic, less depressed. That version of me was on a better schedule, sleeping wise and eating wise. You know, I ate better and I slept better when I was working. Well, maybe not, maybe not always. I mean, it's, it's easier to keep a schedule when you're on a schedule, but it, as far as eating went, you know, there would be times when I would be bad about it. Like, you know, oh my God, I really want to get this video edited. So I'm just going to skip lunch, like that kind of crap. But hopefully I won't do that this time around. So I'm coming back. And what that means for you guys is that uh, hopefully you'll be getting... So first order of business is I'm going to be streaming Breath of the Wild. That is that is part of the reason why I came back was because that was the thing that pushed me over the edge. I'm going to be doing the DLC, um, the parts that I haven't done already. And then if I can go back and redo the parts that I have done. And really, I've, I haven't done that much DLC. So it's, it's really not that bad. But... Um, and you guys will see what I mean when I actually go to stream, but I'm going to do the DLC and I'm going to do the, um, master sword trials, which I did technically do on the normal mode file, but not on the master. And what I mean by master mode trials is master sword trials. I think I said master. I don't know. Hopefully I said master sword. Anyway, that's what I meant. There's, there's a trial where you go in and you fight enemies completely naked. It's kind of like Eventide Isle, which I never showed on my stream because I found it completely like by chance on my own time and ended up doing it before I realized like really that it was something I should have done on the stream. Hey, and actually Eventide Isle is one of the two, I think, shrines that I still have left on my master mode file to do. So maybe you guys will actually get to see it. In fact, I think that's why I left it. <laughs> I think the other day I was like, mm, this is something I want to stream. So you'll get to see Eventide Isle, but you'll also get to see the Master Sword Trials, which is basically Eventide Isle, except like 40 freaking floors of it or 100. I don't even know. It's, it's a lot of floors. And if you complete it all, it powers up the Master Sword, making it do double damage all the time instead of just being in certain places or near guardians or whatever. And then also um, it like reduces the duration of the recharge by like half. And then also 
it doubles the dura the durability of it i think i think those are the three things you get um you might even get something else that i'm not even completely aware of but i'm going to do that and then i'm going to do um all 900 korok seeds or as many as i feel like i can before i literally have nothing else to talk about which hopefully will be a lot and in fact a lot of the things that i talked about in this original recording i'm leaving out on purpose because i want to be able to talk about them like when I'm actually streaming and doing stuff. I think it'll give you guys a little bit more, you know, like better better commentary in general, but also will give me something to like do, <laughs> you know, in the moments when like I don't have anything else to talk about. So that's coming up and that's really exciting. There are a couple of other games that I have in the works of like, I want to do this, but I haven't decided which I'm going to do and in what order. So I'm bringing them up now so that you guys can possibly have some sort of a say in it. Horizon Zero Dawn is possibly one of the best games I have ever played, especially for story. And I played through it last year and was so enamored by it. And they're coming out with a sequel called Horizon Forbidden West for PS5 next month in February. And I really want to play that, but I don't have a PS5. So I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to wait a year plus for it to come out on PC or if I'm going to cave and I'm going to buy a PS5, I might end up caving. But at the very least, I'd like to do the original game on the channel at some point. So that's an option for an actual channel Let's Play. Um, other options include God of War 4 for PS4, uh, which in my case, I would be playing it on PC. So there's that. Again, one of another, like one of the best games I've ever played. Like Breath of the Wild, Horizon Zero Dawn, and God of War are like... Oh man, they're like, they're so similar in, in a lot of ways and they're so different in a lot of ways, but they're all, oh, all three of them are amazing. So that's another game. Um, Subnautica is another one I would be, con I would consider doing. It's an underwater survival game where you crash land, your, your giant ship with like all of your crewmates crashes onto a planet that's basically 99% water and you have to figure out a way to survive and everybody else basically dies and you're the only survivor. So that game is really good too. That that game I actually talked about in my last video on the channel and that was like a week after I played it. Like it, it I still love it just as much as I did even back then. Like incredible incredible game. Only weird thing about that game is since I already know the story and I already know where things are, there's going to be a blind aspect of it that you won't have. And often I find that when I go to watch Let's Plays of Subnautica, I'm trying to find people who haven't experienced it yet because their experiences for the first, their reactions for the first time are way more exciting than somebody who has just played through it. But if I did it on the channel, you guys know me well enough to know that like I wouldn't spoil story ahead of time or anything and I would still I would still envelop you guys in the story. I would pull you in somehow. Um I would basically like RP <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um but it, it we'll see. Like that's an option too. Um if you guys have any you know there's also Skyward Sword HD, there's also Wind Waker HD, both amazing Zelda games that I would love to do on the channel eventually. Those are also options. Um, just let me know what you guys think. If there's any games that I haven't mentioned that you would like me to play, whether I've played them or not, uh, just, you know, leave a comment and maybe I'll look into it. Maybe I, maybe it's a game I've already said in the back of my mind I want to do and I just forgot about it sitting here talking about it. So lots of new and exciting stuff coming up for the channel. I just want to say thank you for anybody who has stuck around for this long. There are some of you that like have even commented on videos recently, like you're still watching old videos of mine and that's crazy to me why don't we get you some new stuff to watch like hopefully new and maybe better stuff i mean that's subjective but um we'll see you know like i'm i'm just excited to be back i'm ex i'm happy to be back honestly guys it it feels super surreal to me very emotional very like i just i feel like i'm greeting an old friend and and in a way i am because you know it again there are people who are going to be still around um, from the past who watched my channel. And I considered you guys friends back then, even if I didn't know you in real life. So, you know, hi again to everybody. Like, it's nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope we're going to have a lot more fun going forward and just a lot of 
stuff. Like, I, I don't want to fizzle off again. I am going to try to keep myself in check this time. I want this channel to grow. My first goal is 500 subscribers so that I can get my damned community posts back because YouTube took them away from me because I don't have 500 subscribers, which is stupid. They should have just grandfathered me into that feature, but they didn't. Um, so that's my first goal is let's try to hit 500 subscribers. If we can get to 500 subscribers, I'll already consider that a win. I'll be like, well, I guess we've won YouTube. And I know that that's not a lot of subscribers in the grand scheme of things, but to me right now, that seems like so many light years away. But we'll see, you know, if my content is good enough and we can get it spread around and, and people find me through many various ways, then... You know, we may hit those points eventually, and even if we don't, I'm just happy to be doing something that feels good again, you know? It just, it's really nice. All right, so I will see you guys hopefully in the next couple days. I imagine I will be posting, uh, we'll, be, we'll be streaming, like I said, Breath of the Wild. We're going to do it through YouTube rather than Twitch. I'm going to be trying that feature out, so hopefully in the next day or so, uh, we will be streaming Breath of the Wild. So I will see you guys then.